Hello everyone and welcome to me playing some more Magicite. Um, you know, I really enjoyed this game. I haven't played it uh, on camera more than once due to my recording trouble last week. Which, by the way, I should add, we are going to be probably a bit short on videos this week again. My apologies, just kind of some stuff that led to that that uh not going to get into in too much detail. But regardless, um, we are going to... Uh, You know what, let's start out as a Dwarf with the uh, bow. Since the last time we played this on camera, some uh, uh, an update has happened that very much almost entirely nerfed the, um... Sorry, the, um, strategy we had been using of chopping down all the wood you can and selling that for profit. Um, it still works, it's just not nearly as effective as it once was. Um, same thing with the pro with the potion brewer ability, which is why I didn't really concern myself with getting that. Um, it is just not as good as it was, um, which you know it does make the game a little bit more difficult, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Just kind of disappointing that one of the most consistent strategies I had yet found was uh, completely taken away, and I'm not entirely sure what to go with from here. But we're playing as a Dwarf because we haven't really messed around with the bow very much, and that might be a big helper to us. Um, I don't think it's going to be our main weaponry, but it is certainly going to be something that we want to use. So let's kill the slime and get some more herb. And we're pretty much going to be playing about the same way, through this first segment at least. Um, once we get past this first area, I've got to put on a hat too, that's my bad. I should also add that with all my computer troubles uh, last week, my save file actually got deleted because, um, well, I had to do a system restore and that kind of ended up badly. But regardless, um, so yeah, I had to go back and unlock some stuff. I still don't think I have everything I had unlocked before unlocked again, which is unfortunate. It is always kind of crappy to lose a bunch of save data to technical difficulties. We have a rock here, the first one we've come across, I believe. Okay, I need to stop taking damage. But yes, we are going to make ourselves a pick. One, two, three. One, two. No. No. I'm hitting caps lock instead of... that makes sense. And then this, 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 and this. Okay, so now we've got a pickaxe. We are going to craft up another potion. And we're going to craft these into a greater potion, because we might as well. Um, obviously it gives us less potions total, but they're going to heal for more than the two separate ones would have anyway. Let's continue chopping down some more trees. Again, not as effective as it once was, but we're going to need a lot of sticks for arrows anyway. And it's still effective to some extent, so I think it's probably a wise decision. Oh god. Slime! Go and die! Please! Please, slime! Please! Just die! Ugh. Got speed increase, not exactly a great ability to pick up. Um, let us pickaxe this stuff. We are probably going to want to go with a stone pick first, honestly. Um, that is going to give us, I think, the most minerals earliest, and it is going to hopefully pay off in the long run over going with the weapon. Um, we do have four more herbs, so we will craft another greater potion. We will take the lesser potion, and then put this guy up here. We could have made some arrows by now, but um, not very many, and you know... Right now, I feel comfortable with the sword, um, although I am taking a bunch of stupid damage while using it, I feel more comfortable with it than the bow, um, so I'm not too concerned with the fact that I haven't jumped to making arrows as soon as possible, but we probably should do so soon. Oh. This is not that hard of a jump. Thank you. Let's 
Your wooden sword is about to break. Well, that sucks. That was a very short-lived wooden sword. I don't really feel like I've gotten my value out of that, to be honest, but... It is one thing nice, I believe, about bows. I don't think they have durability, so you can actually continue to use them uh, as you wish. Uh, let's go ahead and make another sword. We could make a... Uh, We could make a bone sword, or or a stone sword, I mean. But I think it's probably better for us to hold off on that, because we're going to be making an iron one, most likely. Although that's a golden wooden sword, which is awesome. Well, not golden, but, uh, you know, yellow font, which is better, as is usually the case in games. When something has a different font color, it's usually better than, what, than something that doesn't. Oops, I need another plank, that's right. There we go. New wooden axe. I should probably be a bit careful about spending so much time because uh, we are probably getting relatively close to scourge time. These are certainly something that would probably be uh, a little bit easier to deal with with an axe. We did get a potion, that's a plus. Worth a bow, I mean, not with an axe. Oh, we killed the pig. Guess that's nice in its own way. There we go. Let's kill this other pig. Get some more wood. And then we'll be about to move on to the next level, um, which should hopefully go well for us. And... We are going to go to the forest. I just took the world's dumbest damage there. Okay, so what do we do here? Um, first of all, we are going to sell off some of our wood. Not all of it. Um, 25, sure. 30 sticks. Yeah, one apiece isn't that great, but... Um, we could make a bone axe or... Uh, let's see, what do we want to do here? Well, first of all, we're going to smelt our Iron Knight, and we're going to make an Iron Knight sword. Okay. This is actually special as well, because we do have the uh, crafting improvement. Um, let's go ahead and make three refined bone. Combine that with sticks, that's going to give us 15 bone arrows. We'll also make some stone arrows to have as backups. Um, we should probably eat soon. Sell this for now. Sell this. I'm not sure which weapon path I'm going to go with just yet. Um, not sure if I'm going to... Or which armor path, sorry. I'm not sure if I'm going to go with the dex improving gear, the uh, leather gear, or if I'm going to go with the attack improving gear and focus more on melee. I'm not entirely sure yet, but we'll figure that out as we go. Um, in terms of things to buy, an Iron Knight hatchet might not be a bad idea. Um, it'll last us a bit longer, and it's going to uh, give us some more wood, which again doesn't sell for as much as it used to, but it is still a viable strategy to try to chop down a decent amount to get some extra money. The more resources you have to sell, even though they don't sell for much, the better off you're going to be in general, so might as well. I hate these slimes. My other main choice was I was considering making a uh, iron pick instead of an iron sword, so we could start getting higher level materials right away, but I think that this is a decent decision in its own right. The higher attack power should save us from taking some damage, and I think that'll pay off more than getting the extra minerals earlier.
The bow is going to be mainly reserved for things I feel are safer to attack with it. Um, it's not going to do as much damage as our weapon, at least at the moment. So I think that that's probably a smart decision. Oh. I only have the one potion, don't I? Yeah, we might as well pop it now. We get some more herbs and some more potions. Excellent. See, I'm not going to be as specific with cutting down a bunch of trees, but... We're still going to try to cut down a decent amount to get some extra cash flow. We can make three more potions, and then we can do this and this. We will pop the small one and save the bigger ones. Okay. Good, good. Things are working out well so far. And down here... The slime should be easy to kill, assuming we don't land on it. That's gonna make us another potion or so. We'll make it just yet though, since it'll take up extra inventory space. And we don't particularly need it. Oh my god, that was the world's dumbest damage. Shroom, don't really care about. We aren't going to be using much, if any, magic, so... Not too concerned with the lack of that. That chest does not have a tongue, so it is not a mimic. It's going to give us a potion, at least. We can get rid of this string for now. Um, which does mean that if I clear out a little bit more inventory space... We can make this, make this, and do like that. Good. Our inventory is getting filled with wood, which isn't a bad thing. Again, it only sells for one apiece now, so you really need a lot of it to make it uh, economically useful. Oops, that was stupid. But yeah, you need a lot of it to make it economically useful, but it is also still every little bit helps. Um, I'm just not focusing on it as much as I would if it was still selling for so, so much as it used to. Because survival is much more important. Let's break open this rock. We're getting a lot of ironite. We should be able to make some armor, whichever we choose to go with. I have finally figured out that, uh, you know, the leather armor is for rangers, the cloth for mages, and the, uh, refined material for melee. Kind of obvious, but, um, I did just realize what I should say is that, um, the deck stat is kind of like attack and is to rangers what attack is to... Warriors, um, and magic is to mages the same thing. So that's what I mean by discovering that. Not so much that I didn't have any idea that the different armors were designed for different classes, but the fact that, um... The fact that it was useful to get... Or that the stats that were affected were essentially the key ones for each class to do damage. At first I actually thought that more decks just meant that we could, um, have more dashes and everything. We're going to go to the forest again, because I don't feel safe anywhere else yet. Raw chicken, um, don't really need. Let's go sell some stuff. 99 sticks, 99 sticks. 37, or 99 wood, 99 wood, I think we're going to go with uh, attack gear. Three more small potions makes one more big potion. Um, Twenty more bone arrows. Got a lot more stone arrows. Okay, now, we have enough that we could buy a gold pick. I think that's going to be what we're going to go for. Um, in the meantime, let's do, oops, 
There we go. Six of these, and we are going to get ourselves a helmet and a suit of armor. Both of those should help. And let's see now. Um, you know, we should might as well pop a potion. Um, we are going to buy this golden pick. I think that's a wise investment for us. So I haven't really used the uh, arrows despite getting them. Oops, no, I want that. Fire starters, we're going to start a fire. And then we are going to put our meat up here and cook it all. Good, good. And that gives us a chance to recover our health while we get our hunger back up. We did not recover any health, but still, the chance is there in the future. Uh, nothing else we'd really want to do in the town here. Hopefully our sword's durability, yeah, it should last through one more level at least. The axe I can't really speak as much for because that's about to break, but, um, you know, say la vie. Can we make anything better than a wood axe? No. So I used all my materials on... On, um, arrows. That's okay. We're not gonna get as much wood on this time, but we certainly paid off that iron axe. Um, and because of picking that up, we were able to afford the golden pick. So I think that was still a wise investment, although it did not last very long. Kill the slime. Get some more ironite. Of course, once we have full ironite gear, we can start considering making ironite arrows, but... That we're going to need to be in a sustainable position for. In a sustainable position we are not currently in. It's almost enough stone for us to make a stone axe. Well, that went very well. Of course, now that we have a gold axe, all we're finding is iron, right? But, you know what? I'm not going to complain. Getting a lot of that is actually not that common, and it is quite nice to have. So let's go ahead and use our bow on this bee, just to be a little bit lazier and a little bit safer. Takes three hits to kill him with the bone arrows we got going right now. It's not great, of course, but not horrible either. Especially considering we're pretty much not at risk during it. That should be attack double, yes. I finished that sentence after I read it, so it kind of looked like I had no idea what I was saying, but, um... Yeah, I did actually think that was the tack off, I just couldn't think of the words before I had already clicked it. Well, not clicked it, but you know what I mean. Let's make some refined stone, let's, um... Actually, you know what, let's drop the one extra coal. Make a blade. Axe handle. Stone Axe is a go. Oh my god. Did you see the luck on that? And why is my eye acting up so much all of a sudden? The fuck eye. Okay, now... Not too concerned about those monster pelts, to be honest. That's not how you break rocks. That's how you break rocks, and that's not how you break trees. So, so uh, that was a back-to-back -back fail. And kill other slime. Miss the boar. There we go. I really gotta get better at using, uh, dodges. Not dodges, dashes. No, don't drop my cooked meat. I need that. To cure my hunger. Maybe, yeah, we actually got HP on both of those, which is awesome. 
We are also going to use this small potion. Gives us another big potion. And I guess we might as well pick up the shroom to at least sell it. Die, slime. You jerk. You borderless, you borderline harmless creature that just kind of hops around aimlessly. You are very dangerous and I must kill you. Kind of feel bad for the slimes. Like, I just watched uh, How to Train Your Dragon 1 and 2 over the weekend. And, you know, the slimes kind of remind me of that. Where they're just kind of doing their own thing and kind of trying to fight to protect themselves. And you just come in here with your armor and weapons, start killing them like crazy. It's kind of mean. So first things first, we are going to drop this shroom temporarily, make another big HP potion, pick that back up, and then we're going to the swamp. Um, of my options, I think the swamp is where I have the best chance. We got no gold literally on that, so 99. 99 stack, half that stack, half this stack. Oops. Could make some bone arrows if we want. Um, let's see, we're gonna want to. I don't think there's any chance of me getting up to 600. So that would be what? 64. Which would put us at 562. I mean, if I sold my stone arrows, maybe actually. Don't really need both of them. Okay. We're gonna buy the gold sword. Good, because ours was getting low on durability anyway. I wanted to replace it here. Sell the mushroom, sell the spider webs, and then we are going to come down to Mr. Blacksmith. We are going to smelt all of our ironite, use three to make a shield, and we are going to use three to make 15 ironite arrows. And good, good. Good, good, good. You know what, it's only 20 for this herb and I've got the money. Let's buy it just so we have an extra. You don't usually run into herbs in the shop, so it's not a bad idea to get them when you have the chance. We are now in District 7. It's a bit of gold right off the bat, that's nice. And we can one-hit those guys, that's actually very important. Let's get this Goldium, and a little bit of Ironite as well. We're going to continue chopping down a bunch of trees. Okay. Now, I will say one thing about um, the bow that I've kind of thought of and why I kind of avoided using it, is I feel like it does require a little bit more to keep going long term than the um, melee weapons or even the ma the magic weapons um, just because you need to keep making arrows and if you're making low level arrows you're not going to have that good of luck there we go but yeah if you're making the low level arrows the bone the stone arrows you know the ones that are from common materials you're not going to probably be doing nearly as much damage as you could be. Whereas with um, melee weapons especially, you know, you don't need to replace them very often. Um, especially once you get to the higher tiers, they usually last more than long enough for you to upgrade your equipment before they run out. This guy is going to start firing magic at me, but we jump over him and kill him in one hit. Stone Man, hello. Kill that man. I 
We actually have no room left in our inventory for that shroom. Which means we're running out of space in general. I will cook up my uh, meat after this uh, next town. We don't need the monster pelt. We don't really need this coal right now either. It's getting a bunch of wood together. I do need to remember a bit more often to use like potions to kill um, the harmless animals, the things like the pigs or those little blue whatever they are. Um, because that doesn't take durability away from your weapon, of course, and there is no durability on potions. So when you kill something with that, it is actually a very effective way to preserve your weapons longer term. Again, we have a gold sword, so I don't think it's going to be breaking anytime soon enough where I would have to worry about conserving it, but still not a bad habit to get into, to just kill these guys like that. Boom. I mean, it essentially does the same, about the same damage as my hand axe, so... It's not like it's a completely decimated attack. So we can go to Iceland, Caves, or... Jellyland. I kind of want to go to Jellyland to try to get the Jelly Sword again. Because I really like that weapon. That was fun to have. My Iron Axe is about to break, that's okay. You know what, actually it's got one durability left right now, yep. So perfect time to move on so we can go sell it and make a tiny profit off of it. Oh uh, yeah, let's go to Jellyland. It's dangerous, but the chance of getting the um, Jelly Sword drop is enough to make me want to give it a shot. Okay. We have enough that we can make a Goldium Blade. Do we want to do so? I don't know. Um, wait a second. We want to go back up here. Um, sell these vials of poison. Sell these monster pelts. Sell these monster hides. Not listening to myself and using the potion. Okay, so nothing much going on shopping-wise here. We could buy a... Um... Axe. We are going to smelt all of this. All of our gear except for our axe is at least iron. Um... And you know what? We will make an iron axe. We will also make some more iron arrows. We'll be selling that off. Oops, not that. That. Okay, let's go here, we can sell our stone axe, and then um, we are going to pop a kicks, uh, fire starter, not a kickstarter, up here, and um, cook some chicken, and cook some raw meat. The more cooked meat we have, the better. We will chow down a bit. We're actually going to put our iron arrows in and we're going to sell off our bone arrows. Which is actually quite ex uh, a lot of money for us. We still have stone that we could make stone arrows out of if we get desperate. But given the fact that we've been focusing on melee, I don't see that happening soon. Um, let's see, do we want to... we already have an iron axe, I made one instead of buying one. Probably a good decision. And as much as I hate to do it, um... I need to take a quick break, so we're going to cut an episode here, much like FTL, um, and we'll be back tomorrow with the conclusion of this run, which hopefully will go well. Um, we've made it decently far, and I think we can keep going for quite some time. We have 5 health potions, that's 25 health. We've got decent gear on us, all of which is pretty good durability. I think we're in good shape. So see you tomorrow while we continue this run. Take care, everyone, and have a good one. Later.